Hey everybody, it's BZ here, and welcome to another episode of Void Train. And as you may have guessed, I'm completely out of resources. I have done a lot of work since the last episode. Uh, I can't really show too much here because of the, the lighting situation, the depot here. Uh, I'm sure things will improve when I get better lighting options. I'll show you a, give you a better tour when you get out of the void. Uh, there's a few things I want to do first, actually just one thing. Uh, I have been looking at the research here. Unfortunately, like I said, I don't have any resources, so I can't actually doing any of this, but I can do this one here, which is going to unlock Void Plant Plus. Now, I don't know what that actually does. Uh, I do have Void Plant Seeds. I think I have uh, either I have two or seven of them. So uh, let's actually see, let's have a look at this fertilizer when we head out to the void. Uh, I have no idea what's going to happen. Uh, I have looked into the, the barrels of the guns, and apparently the different types of barrels are the different type of... Uh, ammunition like, like the actual type of gun it is uh like the flapper i believe the flapper is always a shotgun uh, i can't remember what i got this set up to already uh, i've been messing around with it this one of these is actually doing this one here is actually doing some pretty good damage and then i got this, so just went over to more of an automatic this is pretty high fire rate pretty good you know if uh come across like bosses or something like that but anyways enough chit chat let's see what this void brings us uh, also, too, I did pick up another prophecy. Uh, it looks like every depot is going to have one of those prophecy, mach prophecy machines, and the one I picked up was uh, one extra shark in the void. It's the last thing I need. And I don't see any bells. We are definitely on a new path. And that's not what I want. I want this gun here. Get rid of these things. And since there is no storyline, I'm going to take a quick pause here. Uh, as you can see, I have completely covered the entire train. It's definitely a little more visible here. We'll go, we'll go to the back first. Uh, so I moved the gathering station to the back here. Uh, I put this guy over here. He's doing his job. You gotta watch out for the shark, because that's actually what they're calling them as sharks. Uh, I have built, moved the armory over here. There's actually a second armory station we're going to be building here. Uh, and basically these chests, these, this uh, section of chests here is going to be all uh, completed guns. And the ones at the ends are going to be modules. Uh, I'm trying to get some light in here. Uh, this is the only lighting option I have at the moment. I do have to finish up these chests. Oh. the shots scare them off. Uh, so yeah, basically what I've done is this is going to be the lab area here. I have both labs here. This is going to be, um, I believe this is going to be like completed comp uh, compounds. Same with this one over here. This is all going to be basic ingredients. I got chemicals in the top, zinc at the bottom. Same will be for the workshops. So the work workbench there, workbench two there. Uh, I'm going to have iron and copper in here. This is going to be like components and stuff like that. And then over here is the smelting area. Same thing, it's going to be scrap, wood, uh, different things that I've smelted, stuff like that. And then this is just going to be temporary storage with the crusher and all that stuff. And then, like I said, the armory. But anyways, I have a shark to deal with and some resources to, to collect. So I'm going to be venturing off today, see if I can find any goodies, any surprises, see if, <laughs> if I can survive a shark attack. Oh my god, right in the face. Definitely going on the shorts on that one. Anyway, uh, let me uh, change my underwear and I'll be right back. So I thought I'd have a look at this fertilizer and apparently there's uh, it's something you do when you're going plant something. You can do the organics or you can do the void plant plus and it gives you a chance to get the seed back. So I don't know if the, how this actually works if I get more yield out of it. But I'm going to go ahead and try that and we'll see what happens. Okay, uh, hasn't been too eventful. I uh, came across some minefield, came across uh, some puzzles. I did manage to get two chests. And there was a third puzzle there. It was the storytelling one, but I couldn't figure that one out. So I just left it be. Uh, so right now I'm just getting everything ready for the, the current research. And uh, that should be it. The only thing I have left to do is craft uh, explosive powder, which I have to research first. So first let's go ahead and unlock the armory two. Uh, it says extracting the weapon core, and I have no idea what a weapon core is, but we will find out. All right, and then next we go ahead and explosive powder. And the next one, which is going to be uh, this one here, the ammo container. I think that just allows me to have more open ammo on me. So I actually have to make two explosive powder for that, and I believe that's going to be lab two. So we'll go in here, and... Components, explosive powder. 
I need two powder and or one powder, one zinc. So I go back over here, make two powder, which I need wood for. Run back over here, grab the wood, and this doesn't actually take very long. Except without getting more unstable chemicals, and I hit the wrong button again. And I gotta keep remembering I put it over in this chest here, which really doesn't make any sense, but it's there. It's, it's handy. I just gotta remember where it is. The only thing that things that, the only thing that makes things handy is if you actually remember where it is and actually utilize uh, the convenience of it. Are you actually helping me? Are you gonna give me more than one or two? Let's find out. Also, I have checked on their happiness. They're all perfectly happy. There's no debuffs on them. I got four. Oh. That was good. I only made two of them. Cool. Perfect. So now I go over here and now we're just going to make uh, um, two explosive powder. Now, I'm thinking that this is going to end up making uh, like grenade grenades and rockets and stuff like that. Thank you. Uh, would you explain the, the alternate fire? I actually like this with the secondary workbenches, is it allows you to have two, two items on there at a time. Uh, speaking of, I do want to check the Armory 2. It's Armory 1. Armory 2. I have enough to, to build this, I might get some stuff ready for this, but let's uh, see what this unlocks. Because this might actually be unlocking the next way forward. Okay, and that'll be ammo container one. And I believe... Maybe not. Uh, I actually wonder, wonder what that is. Would that be uh, in the lab? No, it wouldn't be in the lab. It would be a, a workshop thing. Or a workbench. Modified ammo for special purposes. Really? Huh. I must investigate this. Okay, I'm just getting everything ready for the, the Armory 2 workbench now. What is this all about? Okay, so this is just larger ammo boxes. I'm assuming they stack, which... It really doesn't matter except for this special ammo. Uh, I have no idea actually what that is. It's uh oh, that's uh, this stuff down here. I don't actually know what that's for. Maybe it's for a special um, mod module I have to get for one of the weapons. But uh, anyways, uh, that is going. I do have to make a couple of bolts here. Let's uh, make. Actually, do I have any bolts made? I have one there. Again, like I said, in inventory management only works when you actually manage, manage inventory properly. Uh, let me clear my or some stuff out here. Okay, well, that is it. Now, let's go see what this is all about. I'm assuming it's the same thing. Hopefully, it's not any bigger than the one I already have here because I don't really have the space for it. Now, what am I missing? Uh, that's not what I'm looking for. Ah, that's what I'm looking for. Big old tool bench. Ooh, that's big. Hmm. I have to move, move, move a few things around a little bit, I think. So let me uh, let's place this down for a second here. Have a look at it. All right. Now, what do we do here? Uh, now it says you can extract the core. I guess there is no core in here. Each four hit mines the enemy. I have no idea what that's all about. Huh. Seems to be about the same. Uh, it looks like it actually replaces the other one. So, uh, yeah, let me do that and I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. And it looks like we can actually have two, gun, two separate guns on here. Oh, we can. Oh. Perfect. Cool. So that's all that is, is just uh, that... Still haven't figured out what this is all about. I think I need all the parts for it, and I think I can just put a gun together. I'm not too sure. But anyways, uh, let's go see what's next on the research agenda. Now that we have all that done, next is fun stuff.
Gasoline gathering. Oh, we're getting a diesel. Uh, unlocks the extraction lump of gasoline. Gasoline crushing. So I need... Oh, I need rubber for that. What do you know? Okay, so we need rubber for that. Uh, which, I can't even do, get into that until we get to the gasoline. Uh, until I research that. What is this? Mineral oil. Uh, blueprint. Mineral oil. So I need more acid for that. And medium backpack. Ooh, more storage space. Oh, what do you know? I don't need rubber for that. So that is what is next on the agenda. So I guess... I guess I'm looking for another uh, another arena because uh, that's the only asset I have right there. So I shall see you when, when I find something good. So it seems we've come across another arena. I have been debating whether or not I'm just going to go the for the acid reward or the chest reward. And I think we're going to go in all, all in this time. This time I'm also going to make sure the only thing I have on my plate in my inventory is plates. So then that way I can use the, the Q hotkey to quickly... Uh, replace uh, armor plates. I don't have to go and find inventory, and I also don't have to worry about uh, using a bandage when I actually want to use an armor plate. Uh, I, like I said, I did try actually uh, uh, farming this by doing it over and over again. But once you do it and you go back in, uh, you can't actually interact with the the guild master. So with that being said, grab some ammo. And oh yeah, uh, when I was making the ammo too. Uh, he was actually making extra unstable chemicals, and then when I went to make the gunpowder, I crafted 10 and I got 12 back, so that actually worked out. But anyways, let's do this.
And yes, by that sound, we have reached the void gate. Uh, something's different about this one, though. Uh, that that light wasn't like really noticeable until about now, and normally I can see it just as it starts to render in. I don't know if it's because of the fog that's doing that, or maybe something's different. I'm not too sure. Uh, regarding the the arena. Uh, it, it, like I was saying it's not repeatable, but I was noticing when I finished it, it wasn't actually, it doesn't end at three rounds. I keep going, but each time I go in the round, it gets progressively harder and harder. And I think it's basically giving you double the rewards. Because uh, I had finished the round, or I finished the third round, and I got, I had, my rewards were some resources, one chest, and four acid. And the rewards for the next round, I'm sorry, I'm trying to gather some resources. Uh, the next round would have been the same. It would have given me another chest and four more acid. Uh, as far as acid goes, I've got six, so I have enough to do everything I need to do to research. Once we get inside here and deal with whoever's waiting for me so I can open up my chests and be my my helpers or their magic mushrooms and unlock some new decor, maybe get some better lighting for this. This definitely looks different. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like there was an update or anything. Wasn't this supposed to be lit up? Oh no. Something definitely seems different about this. I think we better get ready for it. And just to be on the safe side, a little bit of extra armor. Yeah, maybe it's me. Something definitely seems different about this. Like, was that triangle always red? We're gonna find out pretty quick here. I'm bringing my personal space there. It seems even darker than usual. Enter the building. I knew something was different out there. Wow. Interesting. The music's all different too. Is this the end of my void journey? I can pick up resources when I say no. Uh, hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I've never actually gotten this far before. Is this a cult or something? Oh, fall, fall the magic gaze floating in the sky there. Do a little bit of exploring while I'm at it. I don't even want to know. Alright, um, hmm. My thoughts are exactly. so desolate. The perfect place for you to hide or to hide something. You said it. Got some more stuff. Why not? No, oh, this doesn't look good. I hear a beeping coming from that. Hmm. Wasn't smart, was it? I'll tell you this. Right. Looks like security runes on the door. A clever magical mechanism. Hmm. By the way, one of the runes went out. I wasn't paying attention. Hmm. This game is just getting so weird. I honestly believe that we're like in some guy's imagination or something like that. I don't know 
what kind of craftsman lived here, but he had bad taste in figurines. Junk, not a work of art. Almost like what Roflimo draws. Huh, interesting. Find a way to open the door. Alright, can I use a hammer? Are you gonna guide me on this? I have no idea. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, it says find a way to open a door. Open the door. I'm guessing I have to go to one of the Reflimos about it. Well, let's head back to the train and see what we can find. Uh, what I'll do is I'll probably do a quick cut here and I'll bring you back when I found it. Pull the figurines to open the door. Okay, I was wandering back and forth a little bit and then they gave up and told me I had to break all the figurines to open the door. So I'm guessing there's gotta be more figurines in here. I gotta I gotta break. Oh, there we go. Ah, I gotcha. Alright, no, uh I was legitimately walking around for like 10 minutes, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and the narrator just popped up and said, Hey, the devs wanted me to tell you to do this. Alright, well, I need to find two more. There's one. And one more. Where are you? be hiding, probably. Or in plain sight, because usually that's what they do. Now, can I actually interact with this? I can't. Okay. Don't want to make things worse. I don't think there's anything good waiting inside. Got it. Put the protective runes on the door is obviously hiding something in there. All right, examine the room. All right, armor's up. Fuck. I mean, what the hell was going on here anyway? Oh, jeez, that actually scared me. I have no idea. Like I said, this is just getting weirder and weirder and weirder. Uh, new data added. I have no idea what I just picked up. No idea what's going on with that light. Hmm. Oh, get the documents. Okay, so I'm looking for documents then. There we go. Wait, wait. So this must be the scientist? He's been hiding in here the whole time? Uh, take the tarpaulin. Okay, so this thing over here. Oh. Oh, take the tarp. Okay. Oh, gotta interact with it. These drawings remind me of something. I heard a legend from an old man. It says that there was a god who drew his power from an eternal waterfall. The water made him the mightiest of gods, but there was a price to pay. That waterfall was full of darkness that enveloped anyone who touched the water. The wise Cirrus foretold the destruction of the waterfall, for all things have to come to an end. And so it came to be, and the stream dried up, for seers are never wrong. But the god was not foolish, so he hid some vials of the water somewhere in the void. Many brave ones went to seek out these vials in order to wield that power. Hmm. But no mortal has ever succeeded as far as I remember. Who knows what will happen to anyone who dares to drink from those vials? So, so the scientist is planning to find those vials. Or has he already found them? And I guess we're finding them next. Okay, examine the altar. Where is the altar? Altar, please. Where are you? Oh. I don't know what he was trying to accomplish with this ritual. Don't touch anything. Okay, touch nothing. Sure. Told me to touch nothing, it's saying touch nothing, so I'm touching nothing. Oh, 
Oh god. And things just got even more interesting. Yeah, too late now. Well, of course, of course. Why listen to me at all? I'm just a weird voice in your head. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I have don't even want to know. Alright, uh Oh critical overload in 22 seconds until certain death. I gotta run, I gotta run, I gotta run. Let's go, let's go, let's go. That psycho is booby trapped the whole place. Wow. Oh, cool. I didn't realize you could do that. Huh, interesting. Now what? Where do we go next? Remember when I said things were really bad? Or when I didn't? It doesn't matter. Forget it. It was okay then. But now it's really bad. Ew. Go outside. Oh. Just try to survive. Good thing we're getting practice at this. Oh, where, where are you? It's like deformed lantern fish or something. Are you hitting the afterburner or something? Oh, there's actually one on the train, I would think. What are we gonna do about it? Think about it tomorrow, maybe. Hmm. That's weird. If tomorrow ever comes, of course. Uh, definitely weird. To be continued. I think this is a good place to wrap this one up. I thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later. What you doing there, guy? Trying to buy a ticket? Oh my god, it's the door to the twilight zone.